I'd probably say that one of the ones that means the most to me was a song called Moonlight Ride. And that was one that I, I wrote for my wife. And it was when she was living in, in Chicago. And I used to go up there. I live in St. Augustine, you know? And I, it, I used to go and visit her. And, um, so when she was home, I lo and I love this town of St. Augustine that I live in, so every time I would come home and she wasn't with me, I felt like it's just my beautiful little town of St. Augustine wasn't the same. So I had this sort of idea in my mind that it would be so romantic to have a, you know, a moonlit night and be on the beach and share a bottle of wine. So it kind of takes me back to when we were having, you know, when we were pregnant with our first baby. And that was about that time. And, and now we're having our third baby. So it's... It's kind of, I was thinking about that while I was singing about it tonight. So. I just started a band called Apocryphy, and um, it's kind of like a departure from my last record. My last record was very like singer-songwriter, acoustic type stuff. I'm got, kind of getting back to my roots of, of rock. So it's more of like a Radiohead, Jeff Buckley, um, Elbow, if you've ever heard of Elbow, sort of a mixture of those types of things. And I'm doing all the writing with um, my best friend who I used to play with 20 years ago. We've, we've uh, reunited on some music and he's just an incredible uh, writer and uh, drummer named Albert Cruz. So he and I are really excited to do this record. We're already, we've already got about four songs done and we're going to do a full length record. I'm really excited about it. Gosh, I will have to say that the, the first one, I, I, I like a lot of live records, but the one that came to my mind first was the Peter Gabriel Secret World Live. That record to me is really amazing. So many great musicians and so much heartfelt and sp deeply spiritual, moving music. And that's where all, all of my music comes from a, a very deep place. So, um, yeah, I just have to say that was one of my favorite live records for sure. Jeff Buckley. <laughs> yeah, and I was like uh, Radiohead. I mean, all the ones that I mentioned, those are my favorite bands. You know, El have you ever heard of, heard of Elbow? I have not. A UK band called Elbow. They're really amazing. You should check. If you like Radiohead, it's along that vein, but just different, you know, a little bit richer tones, I think. You know, I think one of my favorite superheroes is, has got to be Batman, and I'll tell you why. Because he doesn't have any sort of superhero, super like, there's nothing that happened to his body to make him like from a different world or something like that. He was just human, and he was just a badass, so that's kind of cool. American Horror Story. It's pretty good. I like that. My name is Lou Rubino, and please check out my interview on PewDiePie.com.